Hi students, welcome to English class. I am going to teach the most famous poem written by an American author, Robert Frost. Stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Already you learnt a brief introduction about Robert Frost and first two stanzas of the poem. Now we will see the poem as stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Whose woods these are? I think I know. His house is in the village though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. First line, the poet is questioning whose woods these are. And he is answering, I think I know. So he knows whose woods belongs to. The owner of the woods lives in the village. So here he refers to the owner of the forest. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. The poet is watching the snow falling in the woods. So woods meaning forest. Forest that is covered with growing tree. Where is the house? The house is in the village. Who does he refer to? He refers to the owner of the forest. What is the season mentioned in this line? It is a winter season. Second stanza. My little horse must think it queer. To stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake. The darkest evening of the year. His sleigh horse does not understand why his master stopped here. There is no farmhouse near. The poet has stopped between the woods and frozen lake. The darkest evening of the year. That is wintry season. There is no one near by. So the poet can enjoy the beautiful scene. What is the meaning of cure? Strange, odd. Frozen in ice farm. Who is the speaker? The poet is the speaker. Why should the horse think it queer? Queer meaning strange. The horse thought it's strange because there was no farmhouse near. Where is the poet stand? The poet stand between the woods and frozen lake. What is the meaning of frozen? In ice farm. What is the time? It is the darkest evening time. Third stanza. He gives his harness bells a shake. Ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The horse shakes his harness bells. Because this is not their destination. The horse seems to be reminding the master that it is a mistake to stop there. Except the sound of the snowflakes and winds, there is no other sound. What is harness? Straps and fitting by which a horse is fastened to a cart or carriage. This is harness. What is the meaning of sweep? Soft and gentle sound. What is the meaning of downy? Feather like. What is the meaning of flake? A small piece of something. How does the horse communicate? The horse communicate with the sound of harness bells. What is the meaning of harness? Straps and fittings by which a horse is fastened to a cart or carriage. Whom does he refer to? He refers to the horse. Why does he give his harness bells a shake? He gives 
a harness bell shape to ask the master if there is some mistake. Last stanza of the poem. The woods are lovely, dark and deep. But I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. So the woods are very beautiful, lovely, dark and deep. The speaker wants to stay there longer but he remembers that he must leave to fulfill his promises. He reluctantly leaves the place. And miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. The poet reminds himself of his duties he has to do before he goes to sleep. So here sleep symbolizes the death. How are the woods? The woods are lovely, dark and deep. Who does I refer to? I refers to the poet. What promises the poet is talking about? The poet is talking about commitment in his life. Why has the poet repeated the last line? The poet has repeated the last line to show the regrets that he is unable to enjoy the beauty of the forest filled with snow. These last two lines is very very important. Pandit Chavagalal Nehru, our first Prime Minister, is very close to this poem. The last two lines, written in black letters and placed it on his desk. So these lines reminded him of his responsibilities. Okay students, in your lives you have goals. You should not distract from any other distraction. Hope you have understood the poem. This is a memory poem. Study thoroughly. Next video we will see poetic devices and appreciation questions.